Hello everyone, this is from LEGO Universe, and I am going to be showing you a cool mini project that I've been working on a while ago and recently updated a little bit. I have been working on something that makes it so you can take any code for a script and turn it into text labels and that type of stuff with proper coloring and that type of stuff like you would see in a text editor for Roblox. So the free script I chose was uh, an OBJ importer by Clone Trooper 1019. It's nice. It's not super long, which means it won't have a massive impact on my computer or anything. Won't really have a massive impact. Period. Not even large scripts do. <laughs> but anyway, so if I wanted to load it, I could just run this code and it'll automatically generate. Side note. There is a code I put in to make it so it can scroll to see that the full code generates. This would not be in a final product, so don't expect it. And now if you really want it. So basically, you start by running the code, it creates all the text labels and stuff, and as you can see, it also has all the proper coloring and stuff you would see if you left all the defaults for colors in Studio. Which I do, so I just reference those colors. Now, this is all great and all. This is the extent of the old version. The newest version I have that I recently set up was a fix. So if you had like, oh, say you wanted a tag to be tag one, the one would not be blue like a normal number. That was a bug. I fixed it. But something else I made was if in the case you had, oh, say an, a website that was HTML code based, it also generates an HTML code version. Why did I do this? I was bored and I was in H and I was in web design class. So basically I've already attempted what so quickly to delete all this. You would paste the code, which isn't massively long. You would save the file as an HTML, then you would open it. The reason I put it in music is because why not? It's not really where one would want to store one of these files, but still. I just put it there. And as you can see, all the code and stuff that would be in the f in the thing in Studio has generated properly here. Right colors, right everything. So, yeah. That is all for this. I hope you like this. And I will consider releasing it to the public soon. So, bye!